Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm sharing with you the hottest new makeup releases at Sephora. We're sharing all things what is new and what is viral on the internet. Makeup that you're gonna wanna see if you should spend your money or save your money. If you like these Sephora videos, give this a thumbs up and let's get into today's video. I'm gonna start out with a new mini size Kelly Ray So Blown Blurring Primer. This is hydrating, it's pore blurring, it has collagen, peptides, and niacinamide in it, so it's really gonna be good for the skin. Kelly Ray says this is a filter in a bottle with healthy skin wellness benefits. This feels so good on my skin. It is lightweight. It's very blurring but it's matte and also hydrating at the same time. It's a really unique formula. I think this is going to lock in my makeup all day long. I was so excited to receive a package from Say in the mail. They are a clean line at Sephora and I was really excited to try some of their best selling products that are viral on the internet. I had not tested them out except for one of them and I am so excited to test them with you today. Today we're going to try the slip tint that they sent over. This is four and a half, so that's the shade that they sent for me. It's a light coverage with a radiant finish. It has hyaluronic acid, pansy flower, which is an antioxidant, licorice root extract, which, help, which helps to brighten the overall appearance of the skin. I would say if you're oily, skip out on this product unless you really want to set it, but I love this. It's very hydrating, youthful, plumps up my skin, which is exactly what I want. I couldn't wait to get this in the mail. This is the new Natasha Denona. This is the High Glam Brightening Concealer. I saw so many people that I love using this, so I had to try it. I got the shade in five. Comes in beautiful packaging with a really nice nude cap. The doe foot is nice and flexible, you can see, and pointed so you can really get into the crevices and creases of your eye. It's a long-lasting creaseless concealer with a natural medium buildable coverage made with pigments and texture perfecting microsphere for flawless airbrush results with a weightless natural look and a supremely flexible feel. I love this. Highly recommend if you're in the market for a new concealer. This next product is a product I could not wait to get in the mail. I have only tried, I think, one other, two other things from the Give Beauty line from Gwen Stefani. So I was excited to try the new Pick It Up Cream Contour and Talc Free Powder Bronzer Duo. This is only $28. It comes in five different shade variations. Sephora says this product is a cream contour that melts into the skin and creates definition and depth while locking in moisture. The bronzer blends into skin to add warmth and diminish the look of fine lines and pores. Layer, blend, and build for the most naturally sun-kissed and sculpted look. I love that you get two products in one, so it's very easy for travel and just the everyday girl. The shade that I got is Smokin', which is the medium shade. Very nicely pigmented, very easy to blend. It's a lightweight, almost gel-like formula. You can see that it goes on really effortlessly. I'm gonna blend this out a little bit with my foundation foundation brush, but I love how lightweight this is. It's a really beautiful lightweight formula. You get good pigment, but it's not overly pigmented to where it's hard to use. Now that we have set the face, I'm going to go into the powder bronzer portion and really work it into my brush and tap it on. Oh wow, that is really, really pretty. You get a really seamless blend with this product. I wouldn't recommend setting that cream product without setting with some translucent powder. This is the perfect shade, just like I like it, a nice warm tan, and I love it. Two thumbs up. This next product has taken the internet by storm, and I could not wait to get my hands on it. This is the new Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil. These are $30, and it comes in six different shades. I picked up the shade Just Peachy. It's a weightless cream blush that is made with hyaluronic acid to hydrate and plump the skin with a sheer veil of color. I'm gonna get it on my brush and tap it off on the back of my hand just so I know that it's really worked into the brush. That's how I like to apply these, a little hack. Make sure you get it on your brush, apply it to the back of your hand so you don't get too much pigment. Okay, let's see how this applies. First impression, I love this product. I love how lightweight it is. I love that it seamlessly went into my skin without any patchiness. It's not too pigmented, so it's really easy to use. I love this shade, Just Peachy. It's perfect for olive tone girls that don't do well with really cool toned pinks. 
I prefer warmth to my bronzers, my foundations, anything that's too cool makes me look a little dead and goes a bit muddy. So if that's you and you find products going too muddy on you, try something with a little bit of a warmer undertone. I highly recommend this. I love this. I'll let you know down in the description box how well this wears throughout the day and if it lasts all day long, but I think it's going to last perfectly, especially for those hot summer days. Let's hop into a new product from Natasha Denona. You guys know I love their lip products. I love their lip liners, especially because they do not budge. They last all day long. This is a new shade. It's the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Crayon. It's a long lasting, easy glide lip pencil, which I do agree with all of those claims. This is the shade Leon, L-I-Y-A-N-N-P, 2.5 is the shade. There are six new shades and this is a matte finish. Like I said, these last all day long. They're probably my favorite formula on the Sephora website for lip products, for lip liners. These are just the best. The perfect, perfect rosy brown. I mean, do I need to even convince you to just put this in your cart and purchase it? It is so good. So that is the L-I-Y-A-N, Leon, I believe, or Lion, um, Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude Lip Pencil. A must have if you don't buy anything else, this is the lip pencil that you need. This lipstick has taken over the internet. So many people are testing these out, so I had to see if the hype was real. They are loving, loving this lipstick. I got the lightest shade, of course. This is Sugar High, and this is a neutral baby peach, which is my perfect, perfect shade. Okay, one swipe. Wow. Oh, <laughs> wow. I think I'm going to need the Beach House, which is a warm, vib vibrant pink, and then Fantasy Life, which is a neutral baby pink. Sometimes I like a little bit more color to my lips, so 100% love the formula of this. I think for once, this is just too nude for me. I think I want a little bit more color. A little trick I like to do when I have too nude of a lipstick, I like to go in with the blush that I used. So we are gonna take this Makeup by Mario Peachy Blush and add just a little bit of this to the lip to give it a little bit more color and kind of create a very cohesive look to the face with the blush and the lipstick. And these are lightweight enough that you can put these on lips and use them as a lip product. We are going to try the One Size Fantasize Ultimate Lifting and Lengthening Mascara. Ooh, it has a nice brush. It is a plastic wand. So be careful when you are getting near your eye with these. Ooh, it separates really well. We will see if it holds my curl or not. Very lengthening, very separating, not clumpy at all. So far, this is looking promising. I'm always looking for a mascara that helps my straight down lashes go stay lifted all day long. I will let you know down in the description box if it lasts all day and doesn't smudge. I am going to apply some lashes. These are my favorite lashes. The Kiss Lash Couture, the Muses Collection in Legacy. I love Nobles in Legacy. I'll leave these linked down below on Amazon and Ulta for you. They are so good. I'll be right back. I love that blush, the swatch. I just wiped off my hand. It's so beautiful. The Makeup by Mario. Highly recommend that in the lip liner and the concealer so far. Those are my favorites. Okay, now I'm gonna use the Grande Liner. This is the liquid eyeliner with Lash Enhancing Serum. And I'm going to apply this to the lash line to connect the band of my lashes. That is a super thin line. If you need to disguise your lash band, this is the eyeliner that you need. It's really, really good. The fact that this is a really good eyeliner, plus it has the Lash Enhancing Serum in it, Two steps in one, I love these products that just make my life a little bit easier and save me time. I still wanna look glam, but I also want to knock out two steps in one. This Grande eyeliner is one of those products that will help you save time in your makeup routine. This is the Henry Rose Jake's House Perfume. So this is $35, it's a clean perfume at Sephora. 
and I am really into clean products right now. I'm trying to kind of convert where I can. And the one that I originally wanted was sold out, just like all the other ones. This is the only one they had left, so I was like, I have to try this. So this is, um, like I said, Jake's House, and this is a unisex, genderless scent. It's layerable, um, cruelty-free, fresh, clean, and planet positive. So let's spray a little bit of this as my scent of the day, and I'll give you my first impressions. So I'm gonna spray on my wrist and hair. You guys are gonna laugh, but there's something in this that reminds me of my grandmother's perfume. Maybe it's the musk. Well, I think it is a beautiful, lovely scent. These are not the notes that I typically wear and enjoy on myself, but if I were to smell this on someone else, it's very light, bright, airy, pretty just a lovely scent i don't think this is a bad fragrance i just don't think this fragrance was meant for me because i like a more earthy woodsy santal um neroli bergamot fresh scent that is everything for this sephora haul if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up be sure you subscribe before you leave and i'll see you in my next one bye